Hi everybody, this is Elder Bill with Christ the Ark of Salvation Ministries, and I want to thank you for joining me at the Ark today. Hey look, I have something that I'm sure is going to add value to your life. Check it out. I was reading in Romans, the 13th and 14th chapter, and it occurred to me, all of us can be so foolish. All right, uh, I was reading in Romans because I wanted to be reminded of how the church began and what its initial intent was. And it was simple. It was simple. Christ is the promised Messiah sent down from heaven, which was proven by many infallible acts. Christ was crucified and he rose again on the third day and he ascended into heaven and now sits at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. Repent of your sins and be baptized for the remission of your sins. Simple message. And somehow it morphed into all these different denominations and divergent belief systems. I have a simple message. Simple message today. Just go back to the basics. I was not called to force you to believe as I believe. I was not called to force you to eat what I eat, drink what I drink. I was called to tell you this, Jesus is the Son of God and is the promised Messiah that was sent down from heaven, which was proven through many innumerable infallible acts. Two, Jesus died for our sins he was buried. He got resurrected on the third day. He spent 40 days with the disciples, showing himself to the disciples. And then he ascended up into heaven where he is today, sitting on the right hand of God. I was called to tell you that if you believe in the name of Jesus, if you believe in Jesus and believe he was the son of God, you shall be saved. I was called to tell you, repent of your sins, accept him as your savior and live and live. You relinquish the sentence of death from off your life. What I loved about what Paul wrote in the 14th chapter was he said, look, uh, some believers are going to observe certain days. And that's fine. And some won't observe any days. That's fine. He said, some believers will abstain from certain foods and certain drinks. And some believers won't abstain from certain foods or certain drinks. That's fine. Whatever we do, whether we abstain, observe, or whether we don't, whatever we do, we have to do as unto the Lord. If what you're doing goes against the Lord, then it's sin to you. Stop it. You're called out of sin. All right. Whatever you do, do to the glory and honor of God. The other thing he said, which I loved, was don't cast a stumbling block for your brother or sister. What did he mean? 
If you have the freedom to eat certain foods and you're not convicted in your heart, but your brother or your sister has abstained from those foods, don't eat those foods in front of them and stumble them. If you observe certain days and your brother or sister does not observe those same days, don't throw a stumbling block in front of them because of your liberty or your restrictions. Don't throw your restrictions or your liberties on your brother or your sister. Simple message. Christ is the son of God. Jesus is the Christ. Believe in him, you shall be saved. Repent for your sins and accept him as your Lord and Savior. He sits now at the right hand of the one and only living God, making intercession for us. He will hear your prayer. And all of this, your walk, everything, can be accomplished in this one instruction. Love your neighbor as yourself. And you will not be guilty of offense. Look, that's my time. That's my time. I don't know how we got all these varying denominations and divergent belief systems out of that one simple message. And you know, at this point, I don't even care. The only thing I care about is that when I deliver the good news, the good news is Jesus is the son of God. He died for your sins. He was buried and he was resurrected. He now sits at the right hand of the father, hearing your prayers and making intercession for you. If you believe in him, you shall be saved. Look, that's my time. I don't have anything else to say, all right? Except for this. If you've not accepted Christ as your savior, please let me lead you into a prayer that will make that bond with Jesus. Just repeat after me. Father, I'm a sinner. I admit that I'm a sinner. Jesus, I repent of my sins and I accept you as my personal savior. I will walk according to your will from this day forward. Thank you for saving me. I declare now that I am saved. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer, then you're saved. Then you're saved. I would ask that you find a Bible teaching church because it's crucial that you know what God says. Not man, but what God says. Find a Bible teaching church and then live to the best of your ability according to the scripture and according to what honors the Father in heaven. That's my time. This is what we call a short stack. And I'll see you next time at the Ark.